Hello everyone, I am Amulya, Assistant Professor in Electrical and Electronics Department, Saivitya Institute of Technology. In today's session, I am going to conduct one experiment that is a DC servo motor. This is a one of the experiment in a control system laboratory. Before proceeding to the experiment, first we should know what actually the servo motor is. So servo motor is the, just like the normal motor which is going to convert, which the input will be electrical input and which is going to produce a mechanical output. So basically the output produced is mechanical variable like the position, velocity or the acceleration. So these will be variable. So this servo motor is basically automatic control of any of the physical quantities like a velocity, speed, acceleration. So all these things can be automatically controlled with the help of a servo motor. So in the other words we can call this as it is a rotatory actuator or the linear actuator that allows for a precise control of angular or the linear position, velocity and acceleration. So actuator is basically it is a component of a machine that has been responsible for moving and controlling of a system or a mechanism. So this is what we call it as a servo motor. So this servo motor is basically works on the pulse width modulation principle that means its angle of rotation is controlled by a duration of pulses applied to its control pin. So basically the servo motor is made up of a DC motor which is being controlled by a variable resistors. So usually this control servo motors it will be coupled to the shaft output shaft that is usually on the load side with the help of the gear shaft mechanism for power matching. So this is regarding the servo motor. So this servo motor it has a two types one is the DC servo motor other one is AC servo motor. So DC servo motor means here we are going to use the input supply as a DC here. So in this experiment we are going to find the relation between speed versus torque in a DC servo motor. So how does the speed and the torque are related in a DC servo motor. So that is what our experiment is. So now coming to the circuit diagram. So this is the circuit diagram for conduction of DC servo motor. The input supply will be 24 voltage DC that will be fed to the fuse. Then we have a meter here. Then this is the DC motor. So this DC motor it has been coupled to the load. So this is our load here. Here we are using the brake drum. So variable load we are using. So this is the load W1 and this is the load W2. So what actually here we are going to measure means we are going to find the relation. So as the load into the system is keeps on increases means how does the torque will going to affect and also the speed. So as you already know that as the load increases means the speed will be reduces and also the torque also. So these things we are going to see in this experiment and these are the specification of the servo motor. The input voltage is 24 voltage DC and this is the torque and the speed of the servo motor will be 4400 rpm. So this, so this is the details of the DC servo motor speed torque characteristics. So here in this you can observe what all the components are there in the DC servo motor kit. So input voltage will be AC that is a 230 that will be fed into the step down transformer. So here it will going to convert into three voltages. One is the 26 voltage, 10 voltage. Next, the voltage will be fed into the bridge rectifier. So here we are going to obtain a DC voltage. So then for obtaining a pure DC, we will be requiring a filter circuit, voltage regulators and also the pass transistor. So these are all we are using for obtaining a pure DC. So the DC supply here we are going to obtain it as a 24 voltage. So that 24 voltage we are going to fed into the servo motor. So then after this we will be having a speed sensor will be there that will going to sense the speed at what speed the servo motor will be rotating then it will be fed to the microcontroller so that the analog information will be converted into digital and that will be displayed in the digital speed display. So now here as you observed in the step down transformer the one voltage 26 or 24 it will be given to the servo motor another voltage that is a 10 voltage so this is being used here see 230 it will be step down to 10. 10 so this voltage is used for measurement of the current and that will be displayed in the digital display of armature current so this is the inside details of the dc servo motor kit so now observe so this is the experimental setup for the dc servo motor so here you can observe so this is the brake drum so basically it is acting as a variable load here we can uh, add up the load and also we can reduce the load 
and this is the digital display for the measurement of speed and this is the display for the measurement of current so now this is our circuit diagram so here we need to connect one multimeter across the supply here so here we need to connect a multimeter and it should be in dc mode why because this is a dc servo motor the supply will be in the dc form only so now i will make the connection so the dc supply multimeter should be connected on the supply side so now i'm going to switch on the supply it's already in on condition since we are reduced the load completely in the beginning the load should be completely minimometers or it should be completely reduced so now we need to set the voltage to 24 voltage so 24 voltage is the rated voltage so that we need to set so how do we need to set means as the speed increases the voltage also will be increases because the speed and voltage both are directly proportional so now using this speed knob we will need to increase the voltage and set it to 24 voltage by using this multimeter so now observe the multimeter I am increasing the voltage here and the load should be completely released it is so as the voltage is increases the speed also will be increases speed and voltage both are directly proportional so slowly you need to increase the voltage and set it to 24 so now the voltage is set to 24 voltage so this is our rated voltage so now observe the tabular column so this is our tabular column so here you can observe that this is the first tabular column for a rated voltage of 24 voltage so there are these are the columns firstly we need to take the speed w and w2 these are the weight so now what we have to after setting the rated voltage to 24 next we have to start adding up the load so by that time we need to measure what will be the torque characteristics so the speed and the torque these are inversely proportional so same way we need to obtain even in our tabular column also so this is the balanced load so now we need to start adding up the load. So now I added the load. See here in the load they won't be mentioning which is W1 and which is W2. So how do you get to know which is W1 means with the load which is having maximum so that will be considered as a W1. See, see here the W1 value is 50 and here it is 35 and the speed will be 4062. So these things we need to write in our tabular column. The speed is 4062 or around 50 it is and W1 will be 50, W2 will be 35. So again we need to put on the load and we need to note down the speed W1, W. So this is the second reading I have taken. So now the I have again put on the load. So W1 is 90, W2 will be 60. Same way the speed will be reduced to 3851 RPM. So likewise we need to put on the load and we need to note down the speed also. So from this what you can observe. So in the first reading the load will be minimum. So because of that the speed will be maximum. Same way for the second case I as I added the load the speed will be reduces. As the load increases the speed will be reduces. So now we need to calculate w w is nothing but w1 minus w2 so always the w1 should be the larger value or else we'll be getting the negative values so then we need to calculate the torque so the torque will be t is equal to w into r w is nothing but weight or the load r is nothing but it is the radius so now r is basically radius so how do you find out r means it is the radius of the breakdown so this is the breakdown so this is surrounding radius that we need to find so that will get the torque values so this is for a rated value of a 24 voltage so once we completed with the voltage of 24 voltage so next we need to go for 60 percent of the rated voltage so 24 voltage is a rated voltage means 60 percent means it will be 14 voltage so now how do we need to set the rated voltage means again by using the speed bump so as the speed is reduces means even the voltage also will be reduced so just reduce the volt speed here so that the voltage will be reduced so already set the voltage to 14 here 
so now again we have to follow with the same procedure we need to start adding up the load measure what will be the w1 value note down what will be the w2 and meanwhile note down the speed and also note down the r value since once you measure the r value max that will remain the same for all the reading goals so this is for 60 percentage of the rated value so next similarly we need to do it for 40 percent of the rated voltage 40 percent means around we will be getting 9.6 voltage so again we need to do in the same way so again by using this speed knob reduce the voltage to 9.6 by using this multimeter then first release the node then start adding up the load note down w1 and w2 and also note down the speed so from all these three readings we will get to know that the speed will be inversely proportional to torque so that you are going to obtain this type of graph so as the speed is keeps on increases the torque will be reduced because the speed and torque these are inversely proportional so this is what the dc servo motor is